Hey, what's up? Andrew here. And in this video, I'll show you how to install voice meter banana and alternate routing method. First thing you want to do is head over to the website for voice meter banana, and you're going to install the voice meter banana application. And you're also going to grab the virtual audio cable right here. And you're going to install that as well. As soon as you're done installing both of those things, reboot your machine. Once you come back from the reboot, you want to go to open sound settings, sound control panel, and make sure that your playback settings match these defaults. Make sure your recording settings match this default voice meter output and your microphone make sure that is your default communications device next thing you want to do is search for voice meter banana make sure it is your default audio engine go to menu auto restart audio engine and make sure system tray run at startup is checked the next thing that we're going to do is set up the program you want to pick your best hardware device for a1 so you hit a1 and select your best hardware device as a wdm driver once you do that is going to configure this section here and then from there you want to put your cable output wdm here and you want to put your mic as wdm here from there you can set up your compression or gate compression boosts your audio levels up gate pushes noise levels down and you're going to monitor your mic by selecting a1 here you're going to select a1 here for voice over ip applications you're going to select a1 here for your main out you're going to select a1 here for your browser next thing we're going to look at is audio routing our main audio for most things that's going to be routed in this input here. I have the browser being routed in this section here. So the way to do that is to go to sound settings, advanced sound options, and we want to change the default routing to voice meter aux vow, which is the second one here. Now, if you wanted the browser audio to be with everything else, then you would put it here. And the way to do that is to go to the advanced routing settings and switch it to Val. Notice that it's here. So let's put it back where we had it for the browser. We want it aux Val. And it's back in this section here. Next thing we're going to look at is some settings on this audio mixer. If you right click through here, you can set your modulation. You can set uh, less bass or more bass by dragging this. You can double click it to bring it back to its original position. So that's your EQ settings for this section here. You can EQ these two inputs by just adjusting the knob according to how you want to set that. You can right click on the bar to set your limiter. Or you can drag the bar down to set the limiter. If you right click on the tape, you see the layout of the board of the inputs. You have input one, two, three, four, five. And you also have the bus one, two, three, and one and two. You can arm to record these separately. You can arm to record the pre faders all together. Inputs one and two are not B1 and B2. B1 and B2 are located here. These are not B1 and B2. If you look at the layout of the board, you'll see B1 and B2 is in a post fader, not the pre fader. What's included in a pre fader 
is input one, two, three, input virtual, aux, virtual. What's included in post fader, which is here, is bus A1, 2, and 3, B1, and B2. You can also record with voice meter banana. Set your directory, set your file type, set your sample rate, set your resolution, channels, multi-track or no multi-track, stop record after duration, fader gain, loops, pay on load. You can adjust your setting here. Red is too high, it shouldn't be in a red. You can solo the track, which means this is the only track that's active. You can mute the tracks. You can mute a fifth channel if you're using 5.1 with this button here. You can use karaoke features with a light bass or not so much bass. You can take out the audio, the voice audio with the karaoke feature here. You can EQ the track by right clicking for that particular bus. You could change the different mode and mixes here. And usually if you add an audio box, you may have to mono here. You can also mute the bus here. If you're going to add additional hardware outs, you can do that in A2 or A3. ASIO will only be present in A1. But for A1, you want to pick your best hardware device. Next thing we want to do is set up OBS. Go to settings, audio, make sure your mic is selected. And then from there, we, we, we want to do two output captures for audio. Output capture for the voice over IP. And we want to do an output capture for the browser. So you do output capture. And for the browser, you want to make sure that this is selected for the browser. Okay. So for the browser, it's going to be voice meter, aux, input, VB audio, voice meter, aux, val, which is here. You want to create a output capture for the voice over IP. Output capture for the voice over IP. And you want that to be voice meter aux input VB audio virtual cable. So that's going to be here. Voice meter aux input VB audio virtual cable. In this section here, we're going to set up Discord to work well with OBS. Make sure you select the right output device here. Once you select the voice meter aux input device correctly, you're going to get the feedback that you're looking for in voice meter banana. Check. 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 If you selected the right cable here, you'll get the same feedback in voice meter banana as well as OBS. For Zoom, you want to select the same settings you selected for Discord. You want to select the same voice meter aux input device that you selected and also make sure your mic is selected here. So once you run the test in Zoom, it will reflect in your voice meter 
Banana application. For Skype, you want to pick the same device you picked for Discord as well as Zoom. And that device is Voice Meter Aux Input VV Audio Virtual Cable. Once you pick that, you want to make sure your mic is your microphone. And once you hit the test audio, it should show up in your voice meter banana device. Thanks for watching this guide on how to set up voice meter banana, my alternate method. We'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.